All right, now the next step with this finished rocket is I need to I need to drill the fuse hole and I need to core it and I need to drill the nozzle. And um, to do that, I'm going to use this 3 16 inch bit and I'm going to do it by hand. I'm not going to be using a drill because that will create too much friction and could spark and be dangerous. So, I'm going to go ahead and I already got this center marked with a little scratch in the center. I'm just going to take this, spin it, completely by hand. Okay, we have successfully made the nozzle and cored the rocket. I did it one-fourth of the way. You could do it as much as you want. You could do it all the way to the end bulkhead, but do not go all the way through the bulkhead. Um, but, so we're just going to go ahead and take this fuse right here. It's a piece of visco, it's two inch. I'm gonna take a piece of cotton. I'm just gonna stick it right in there, and poke it in with a nail, keep the fuse in place for right now. You're gonna drill your pacifier exactly the same as you did as your nozzle, except you're not gonna go all the way through, or you're not even gonna go halfway through. You're just gonna go until you start seeing some of the fuel and uh, see like maybe an eighth inch of fuel and um, so that way we could put the the headers fuse into there and maybe we could add a little bit of black powder if you want so uh, the fuse will get for sure ignition alright so this is a one eighth inch drill bit and I'm just gonna do the same thing as I did earlier with my hand and I'm gonna twist this making sure I'm going straight Okay, I have the pacifier hole drilled, and I will insert a very small amount of meal black powder. Here is the shell that I made earlier, I pasted it, and this is going to be my header for this. And all I got to do is just put the fuse into the pacifier, and now I hot glue it on. When you're done putting the header on, should look something like this. I have these nice little labels that they they peel off and then they're paper so I could write on them. And I could go ahead and just put that on here. Now a lot of you may not have any rocket sticks or any balsa wood or anything like that so I'm going to use this piece of pine it's fairly light and I'm going to use this axe here and I'm going to split a chunk off here's the finished rocket stick I could go ahead and fasten it onto my rocket now and finally here is the completed rocket